I'm Ange Barry, I'm the CEO of the Stephanie Alexander Kitchen Garden Foundation. The foundation has been established to see food education, pleasurable food education, um, be accessible to all primary school children in Australia. So we train and support schools to be able to deliver great food education like you see here at Bondi in primary schools. Absolutely. At the moment there's about 480 schools across Australia participating in the program. We've set ourselves the goal that 10% of all Australian schools with primary enrolment will be delivering pleasurable food education by the end of next year and that's about 800 schools and it's going really well. It's amazing. We get great feedback from teachers, parents, principals and members of the community who come along to the school and participate in the program as well. And the comments are overwhelmingly along the lines of children are now eating food that they would never eat before, they're excited to be eating fresh seasonal food and they're really proud of the fact that they've been able to grow food cook food and then sit down and eat it together. We're also seeing the educational aspect as well where those children are actually doing maths, literacy, science, history, it's all interwoven without even really realising it. So from our perspective we're getting great health and education outcomes. I've been fortunate to sit at a dining table with hundreds of eight to 11 year olds and to hear them sit next to me and say, try my food. What do you think? Should I add it a little bit more salt or is there some chili missing or, you know, what about the basil? And it's just the, the literacy, the food literacy that these children now have is so inspiring, but most of all the enthusiasm they have is terrific. And they say to us time and time again, I love this program. I really enjoy this program. And particularly the children that perhaps struggle in a traditional classroom setting seem to thrive because they can use their hands and they can succeed in a different way. I, from my experience, women bring passion, dedication and commitment uh, to any organisation, but particularly in the community sector. And that beautiful passion and, and sense of caring for people is, I think, what often makes uh, programs such as ours successful, because you do always come up against barriers when you're introducing ch change into a community. And women often have that ability to ensure that everybody's on board and everybody's okay with the change. Um, I've always been inspired by women because I really admire the passion and the enthusiasm that I see. And particularly with people like Stephanie, it's absolutely been my pleasure to be able to work with Stephanie and take what is a fantastic fantastic vision and, and make it happen. To me it's a recognition that women can achieve wonderful things for community and, and in fact for the world and I think that we need to stop and pause and say well what is it that's unique about women? What is it that they bring to any situation where um, they do make change or make a contribution? And I know from my, my upbringing and my childhood I'm a child of the 60s, grew up in the 70s. I, I came through that transition where women were starting to uh, have a much greater voice. And so I've been able to observe the change in the role of women, but also women asserting themselves into leadership positions. And to me, that is just fantastic to be a part of. I would say to women, believe in yourself and always think, give things a go. Don't be afraid to try.